guys, welcome back to episode 3 of Guess the Facts. Today I will present you two facts. One of them is true and one of them is false. So it's going to conclude the poll that I had previously put it on my community page. Of course, new polls are coming and you will play again and you will be able to guess once again which one is false and we'll go more into my life, my life a little bit. Um, so, which one is true, which one is false? So, I will not make you wait too long for that. Um, the true fact is the Gulf War and the false fact is the, the, the vacation in the United States. So, basically, uh, it's true. I have been in Canada since 1991. I think I was thinking about it. I think I was here since 1991 not 92 and um, I've never been in the United States I've never went for vacation in the United States I've never been to Florida I've never been actually outside of the border anywhere in the in the US I've been in Canada in several places I didn't go everywhere in Canada but I did not go to the United States so that is false <laughs> I don't think many people got it um, but yeah, seriously, I was in the uh, Gulf War, unfortunately for me. We were uh, in Israel. Uh, when we came in Israel, um, it was the beginning of the war. So we had to put all of the plastic on the glass of each window uh, in our rooms and everywhere in the house because if a bomb would uh, hit the floor the ground and it would be trembled well the glass would shatter and that way would be we would be a little bit protected i was in haifa so it's a very pretty uh, very very nice and pretty city of israel everything is white it's so gorgeous um and i was there for one year so yeah that's what i'm trying to remember it was a year or a year and a half so I came there the yeah it was I was five years old and I left I was six six and a half so yeah I left at in 1991 after the war was over and we came in 1991 in September in Canada so of course I'm not gonna go in details there's a lot to say about that story I don't want to make this a 55 minutes video but uh, obviously it was not uh, unicorns and flowers. It was pretty dark and sad and I learned a lot. I, I survived um, and I got, that's why unfortunately when I came in Canada, I was very much older in my mind. And even now my age does not really represent what I have in my mind. I don't think exactly like my generation, I think a bit older uh, because what I had to live through was not something that a child will live through at six years old, five, six years old. And uh, yeah, it was pretty rough, but you know what? I grew out, I, I survived and I'm just ready to turn my page. Like right now, at the point where I am now, I'm just turn. I'm ready to move on and be free in my mind, in my body, everywhere. And I do not attach myself to the past anymore as much, but I do respect it a lot. And I do pay attention to details that happened to me that allowed me to become who I am today. So basically, you have to know anyone who's struggling, anyone who has a life that they think is hard, that something is happening in their lives, you have to realize that anything negative that will happen to you in any point of your life is going to help you become better and is going to transform itself into positive one day. It could not be the same what you expect to be. I don't know. Let's say you're sick. I hope you're not. But let's say you're sick and you have a very big sickness you do not not know if you're going to survive it it's very negative obviously let's hope you're you're going to uh, you're going to get cured cured but 
maybe when you'll get cured you will not get the results you're expecting but someday you will get something positive happening to you on another level and then you will be grateful for that but then you'll realize oh yeah that's not exactly like you you understand right like comment down below if you know what i mean but we have to take what we are living through now if it's negative if it's positive good take it be grateful be very very important be grateful to what you have right now look at around you what do you have right now in your possession do you have people do you have a home do you have friends do you have anything and take this and transform it into something bigger and something that is bad that is happening let's say you're sick or let's say you don't have enough money or let's say something broke some something as crazy as a nail that could break for a girl you know I, I mean I'm, I'm a girl okay I'm a girl I, I do understand the struggle but this is some people are very very on their big horses and they're like oh my god my life is gonna end my cell phone died or uh, my Instagram account has been hacked and deleted these things they're so minor they're so minor and we don't need to worry about these things what we need to worry about is are we giving enough are we giving enough to others are we giving enough to us for uh, ourselves and do we appreciate what we have and if we do if the answer is yes on both well believe me one day you will just look back and you'll say wow okay i grew i grew and i became a good person and a good human being and believe me you'll feel good because I do feel very very good I will continue giving I will continue being there for others it's never gonna change for me I will always say it these are my words that I will say to every single person my drug is your happiness or your happiness is my drug both ways are good so I love you all I'll see you in the next poll I'll have to think about questions that are tricky because I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself. I tricked you on this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.